Yo, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with a very, very quick pro user tip for Loop Cloud. It is possible to save your projects. So this is very helpful if you've created something and you're not sure if you want to purchase the things from the store or if you want to come back to it later or whatever you want to do, you can actually save the entire state of the project. And you do it right here in the edit menu. If I click right here, I can save session. So I'm just gonna save it right here on my desktop as unnamed, boom. Now I can send that to anybody. And you'll see here that I actually have two loops in this project. One is from the store, one is from my library. It doesn't matter when, if I send it to my friend Alan in Mexico, if he loads that project and he happens to have this file that's in the I don't have it will load up normal for him from his file if it and he doesn't have this one and it's from the store it will pull it from the store and load up with the pattern I have you can see here I've made a, some adjustments the loop is a little bit different I've moved this base note over all of that will be brought up for him normally he will still have to purchase the sound so it will still have the P and the birds chirping and whatnot but all he'll need to do is when he launches loop cloud Go to load session and I'll come over here to one of these other ones and just boom, click to load it up. And you can see here, this was actually from my friend Alan in Mexico and I don't have this sample that he used and you can see the P right here. So I'll have to jump into the store to download that if I wanna buy it and use it in the end. So that's just a super quick tip because I, I think a lot of people overlook it and I need to tell people about it all the time for my job. So I just wanted to make this video and hopefully share the information because it's super dope that it's there and you should be using it. Anyway, Joshua Casper here, boom, boom, boom. And I'll see you in the next Loot Cloud Power User Tip tutorial.